Hi friends, welcome to Sada Learning Hub. You are with me, Sada Sharao. Today's session, we are going to learn creating creating a custom tags in a JSP by using a tag handler class extending from body tag support class. See here in in this my previous video, I am going to cover how to create a custom tag um, by extending from a tag support class. In this video, I am going to create a I'm going to cover how to create a custom tag by extending from body tag support class. See here. First of all, I'm going to discuss about what is the custom tag. A custom tag is a user defined tag. If you are implementing the custom tag, there is a major four uh, advantages is going. The first one is we can reduce your Java code in a JSP page and we can provide a security in the JSP and also we can get a logic uh, responsibility. See, if you see the standard action tags, there is a predefined logic. It's not possible to edit that logic. We can, it's not possible to order that logic. If you see the forward tag, JSP colon forward. What the JSP colon forward is used to forward a JSP page to a JSP or a servlet or a HTML. But coming to the custom tag, we can use your custom own logic, whatever you want. That is called custom tags in a JSP. If you want to create a custom tags, we need to minimum, we need to create a four files. Those are tag handler class, TLD files and web.xml file and a JSP page to test your custom tag. Now, if you see, I'm going to explain one by one on the each one um, of these four files. First, I'm going to explain tag handler class. A tag handler class in Java class in which a custom tag logic is going is defined. For each custom tag, there should be an associated tag handler class. The number of custom tags in a JSP page is equal to the number of tag handler classes. For example, if you are created a 10 custom tags, there is a associated with a 10 tag handler class. Definitely it is available. To create a tag handler class, our Java class should extend from any one of the any one of these two classes. Those are tag support class or body tag support class. See here, in my previous video, I am covered about extending from tag support class. If you want that, just go to the previous video and check it how it is going. And all my projects, whatever I am discussing in these videos, all those are available into a public GitHub repository. I am pasted the link it into the description, into my video description, into my uh, under the video description just go through the link and uh, get do it practice now in this video i'm going to cover about to extending from body tag support class if you see here body tag support class in this body tag support class if a custom tag is defined with a body in a jsp page then it's tag handler class should extends from body tag support body tag support class why because if you extending from the tag support class we no need to put uh, oh, there is no chance to put it in the body for your tag if you want to put any of these uh, if you want to put the body into your tag Definitely, we need to we need to extend our tag handler class from body tag support class. If a tag handler class extend from body tag support, then it will possible to define the logic to run before the body of the tag starts and after the body ends. The two new methods to be overridden by the tag handler class, those are do init body and uh, the second one is uh, do after body see here do init body do init body means what ex uh, what logic you want to execute it before while initialization of the for body and uh, next after what logic we want to execute after 
completion of your body and the remaining commonly two methods that is the do start tag method and do end tag method that is the common methods here if you are extending from body tag support class we need to override the total four methods the first one is do toss tag do start tag method and the second one is do init body method and third one is do after body method and the fourth one is do end tag method these are the four methods we need to override into your tag handler class next i am going to discuss about what about the tld file see here you are successfully created the tag handler class after that definitely we need to configured your tag handler class into your tld file then only it possible to use your your custom tag the next one is web.xml what is the use of web.xml you are created tag handler class you are implemented your logic into your tag handler class after that the tag handler class we are configured into the tld file next whatever you are created the tld file we need to configure into your web.xml file after that we can create finally we are created tag handler class it is extended from the body tag support after we are created tag uh, tld file after that we are configured into the web.xml file now your turn is you, you you want to you you are ready to use your custom tag into your jsp page if you want to your custom tag into your jsp page we need to know about your tag lib directive definitely we need to know tag lib directive then only it's possible to use your tag handler class in a jsp page to define the some pre fix to our custom tags we can use our tag lib directive into our jsp using the tag lib directive we also assign a unique identification name for a tags started with the same prefix to add a prefix and a unique identification name and use to attributes those are uri and prefix now i will show what are the methods we need to override i will show it at here if you see here body tag support if you are extending from the body tag support we need to override two more methods those are public int do init body do init init body and uh, we need to whatever the logic you want we need to put it at here and uh, we need to implement public int do a after vivo bot we need to do these things logic at here see do start method means whenever before starting your tag whatever the logic you want to execute we need to put it into your do start tag method see your tag is started after that in your execution is comes under into your body of the tag for example i am creating c u s t o m custom i will tell you custom means there is a prefix i am creating hello after that i am creating something h1 tag uh, i am putting something at here i am calling h1 tag i am closing c u s t o m custom colon h e l l o hello if you see means before starting your tag whatever the logic you are defined into your, in the method do start method that is going to execute now after that you are entered into your body of the logic whenever you are entered before entering into the body in that situation it is going to execute whatever the logic you are defined into your do init method do init body method that logic is going to execute i will clearly i will write it here now it executes the do start 
tag logic right now here it will be going to execute do init tag it will execute do after after tag finally it will be executed here do end tag it is going to execute like this see here if you see my tag is before starting the tag do start method whatever the logic we are defined into inside of the do start method it is going to execute after that whenever we are entering inside into the method whatever the logic you are uh, in putting in inside init body method do init method it is going to execute after executing the before come back to outside uh, to the body it is going to execute whatever the logic you are putting into the do after body it is going to execute finally do end method is going to execute this is the way to create a do uh, custom tag by extending the body tag support class now i will show one example at here now i want to close all those things at here i want to close this project see here see i am creating a sample project here if you want to create your custom tag definitely we need to need a four files that is the tag handler class after that we need to create our one tld file we need to configure tld file into the web.xml file after that we need to test your custom tag into the one jsp page see here this is my tag handler class my tag handler class is extending from body tag support class now i am extending from the body tag support class whenever you are extending from the body tag support class we need to override the four methods those are called do start method and do after body method and do end method see here just i am overriding the three methods only if you want to override we can override it the fourth method also it's okay fine no problem now here i am overriding only the three methods now after that i am creating a one tld file here i mentioned the tag lib under the tag lib i mentioned the tag lib version and the jsp version as well i am putting the short name and whatever the tag you want to put it into your custom tag name we can put it your tag name after that whatever the class tag lib class we can put it at here here i am putting a jsp page body content is the jsp page now my tld file i am configured into the tag lib directory that is called jsp config this is the jsp config in this jsp config there is a tag lib is available i am configured into the my tld file at here this is going to use into your jsp page for the alias name now see here i am using the tag lib directive here in this tag lib directive i am putting the uri this uri value i am configured into the web.xml file this is the web.xml file i'm configured now i'm giving the prefix is s now i'm using this s colon welcome means s colon welcome means what before the starting this tag it is going to execute do start tag method after entering it inside it is going to execute do end uh, do init method do init body method after it executes the custom tag with extended body tag support it prints it before going out it executes the do after body method finally it executes the do end tag method after going out from the welcome tag our custom tag now i will show run and i will show how it is going to execute it
see here this is my welcome means it is comes at here do start tag method after that it is printing custom tag with extended body support see here custom tag with extended body support after that it printing boy means before moving out see here before moving out i am printing something at here see here before moving out do after body do after body i am executing at three times this tag three times if you see three times count plus plus count is equal to is equal to three returning skip body otherwise eval body again eval body again means it executing body inside whatever the tag inside this is the body of the tag it executing again and again now here i mentioned i am iterating the three times whenever i am equal to three just i am skipping if it is not three i am evaluating again and again body i am evaluating again and again body that's why it is printing three times finally the method it is going to do any tag i am printing just by this is printing the just by method see here this is the way to use the extending from body tag support class see we need uh, we need at uh, three files these are the three uh, four files jsp page tag handler class tag uh, tld file and uh, next one is web.xml now this is the example i will show how the flow is going if you see if you are using your custom tag immediately it going to check with that prefix is available into configured in jsp or not if it is configured it is checking the url is available into the web.xml file or not if the web.xml file url is available the corresponding tld file is available into that particular project or not if the particular project tld file is available immediately it is going to check that particular tag handler class and uh, it depends on the tag handler class if it may be a tag support it may be extending from the tag support class or it may be extending from the body tag support class it is going to execute that logic this is way uh, the custom tag is going to execute thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you keep watching our lessons keep writing to us do not forget subscribe our channel sadot learning hub because we have many session that would help you to develop our skills and i will be back soon till then you take care bye bye